Hey guys. Venki here. Hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hack series. Today I am going to show you how to use Searchsploit and Nmap. Before diving into the technical details such as how to add Searchsploit to Metasploit or how to use Searchsploit and Map, let's discuss what are the advantages of this tool. At least a few things should be highlighted. It requires no internet to use Searchsploit. This is very handy if you are performing a penetration test in an air-gapped network that is not internet access. However, you will not be able to get the newest information about the exploits. That's because a local database that was received when installed the tool is used by the tool. So you will have to update the local database once in a while. You can run it from a terminal. Using a website to sear for the exploits might be convenient for some. However, if you are terminal guy or girl, you might prefer having the power to hack only from terminal. There are also some cases when searching for exploits only is inconvenient. For example, searchsploit is allowed on OSCP exam, this might be a convenient way to search for exploits. And if you are getting the SEP practical certificate, using the browser on the given VM during the exam might be preferred, as it is known that these SEP practical VMs might lag. If you are using Kali Linux, the tool is installed by default. Using the Searchsploit is pretty straightforward. You can easily master it. In order to get the help menu, just write the command Searchsploit to the terminal. In order to get the help menu, just write the command Searchsploit to the terminal. If you do not have any specific needs, you don't have to use any of the additional options. For example, if you want to search for WordPress 5.8 vulnerabilities, you can execute the following command, searchsploit WordPress 5.8. This will result in the display of exploits relevant to WordPress 5.8. We will cover all of the options in a moment, but let's discuss a few useful options. One of them is M using this option will copy the exploits information to our current directory. After this, you can easily print the contents of the text document with the cat command. If you do not want to copy anything, there is a simpler way to review the exploits information with Searchsploit. If you do want to check the information about a specific exploit, you can use the X or examine option. This will print the exploits information to the terminal. As we made an initial search and we have the path of the exploit we want to search for, for the example let's review the first exploit that has a path of PHP WebOps 30105.txt we can execute the following command, searchsploit x30105. This will show us everything that is in the 30105.txt file. Searchsploit and map is the best combination to use. One of the advantages of the searchsploit is that you can use it for analyzing map results. This saves some time during the reconnaissance stage. In order to be able to analyze the map results, we must save them into XML format. Firstly, make a map scan that determines versions of the services. Map SV192.168.1.1 ox results.xml. After the results are saved, you can use Searchsploit with Map XML report to search if the services are vulnerable. Searchsploit, map results.xml. As a result, relevant exploits will be found. However, keep in mind that if map finds a generic name of the service and not a specific version of it, there will be a lot of false positives. What's the difference between Searchsploit and Metasploit? There is one fundamental thing about the Searchsploit that has to be understood. It is used only for searching for the exploits. You can't use Searchsploit to run an exploit. Imagine it as a search engine for exploits it means that if you want to use the exploit, you must download it from the provided source manually or you should use Metasploit to find it and put it in action. Finally, Searchsploit is definitely one of the command line tools that will make your work easier in some circumstances. In case there is no possibility to use the browser and access exploit, this tool becomes a must if you are auditing any target. But what is worth keeping in mind that you must update the local exploits database once in a while as new exploits are added to the remote database frequently. That's all for today guys. In the next video, I will be focusing on how to use critical exploits using Metasploit tool, will be published by next week. Please subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you soon.